Welcome, I'm Dragon, and today I will be showing you how to make a low poly bow in Blender 2.92. So with that said, I want to mention that this will be a little bit different because this will be more about the process of how you make a low poly boat, and you could use a reference image to help you do this. Or if you really wanted to, you could just pretty much copy what I'm doing on this tutorial. So it, there's a couple of different options you can do. And with that, let's get into it. First, add a loop cut, delete those vertexes, then select one of those faces or vertexes and delete them as well. Then go add a mirror modifier so that you only have to model half of it. And if it's not mirroring correctly, check the axis. And now you can go into edit mode and scale along the z-axis to make it a little bit smaller. But if you want it thicker, then you can go ahead and do that. Then you can move it along the y-axis to spread it out a little farther. Now you can go into top view and hit shift Z and create an outline of the boat. Basically, there will be a lot of hitting E in this video. And be sure to turn on clipping on the mirror modifier. Once you have an outline of the boat, you can go to the front vertexes in the front and move them inward so that it's more of a steeping incline like a boat would typically have. Then you can select all the vertexes and extrude them downward. And then do the same thing you did with the other ones is by moving them inward to create a steeping incline. Then you could select the top vertexes and extrude them and scale them so that they come inward a little bit and create more of an outer outline. Then you can select the front vertex and create an outline of what the boat will look like going upward. Then you can go and try and fill those vertexes. And then you can start working on the side of the boat so it slowly goes inward as you see in most boats. Then you can go around tweaking the boat until you get what you think looks better. Then you could start creating the window by selecting certain vertexes to extrude upward and then use loop cuts and everything to create those windows. Once you have the basic outline of the windows modeled, you can then go and select all the faces and extrude them to make them thicker. Then you can extrude the area more of where the steering wheel will come out of. The reason for this is so that you have a little bump and it looks a little bit more realistic. Then you can extrude it downward a little ways. It will likely be moved downward farther or upward when we actually get to modeling the floor. Then you can select the inner vertexes and extrude them downward as well. But first, make sure they connect to the windows and then you can select them all to extrude them down. but then stop moving them down to where you want a chair to be. And then you can select them all again to go down to where the floor will, and you would actually stand on if you would actually stand there. When you get down far enough, you can hit F to fill those faces. Then with the back motor, you could scale it and squish it and just make it so it looks a little bit better. Then you could select the top of the motor and extrude it outward and then scale it inward so that it's, it's more of a gradual top instead of just a complete flat one, which wouldn't look absolutely amazing. And 
then with the bottom of the boat, you can do the same thing we were doing at the beginning by creating that gradual fill. And then when you get to where you're done doing that, then you can just hit F to fill those faces. And there, we have a simple outline of the boat. And if you're like me and forgot to save it, then you can save it now, but hopefully you did that already. If you want the windows, then you can go ahead and fill it and we'll make it so it's more transparent when we get into shading. And the shading actually starts right now. So you can go and add a simple blue to get that basic look, but that would change very soon. Now you can go around applying simple textures everywhere, which is changing the roughness. Then, then once you have the model, you can go and add some lights and create a simple three-point lighting system. You can change it to glass by simple, simply going into the same shader thing and changing it to glass and then hitting a texture that you would like. Unfortunate part about this is then you have to use cycles. So if you want to use Eevee, then you can try and find a better one, but this was just what I found looked the best overall. And here's how it ended up. Here's the gray one, then it goes over to the colored one, and then I added a background. The issue with the background, as you could probably see, is that there is some weird triangles. So here's how to fix that. So here we are. As you can see in without being in rendered view, you could see that it doesn't look like there is any issue. And that's actually because if we go to cycles, you will see that they're all of a sudden turned into triangles where they look like they should be quads. The reason for this is because apparently if the faces aren't flat, cycles will turn them into triangles, which is kind of strange, but you can get around that by going to add-ons and getting this add-on so that you can hit loop tools and flatten. This should solve your issue, though you might have to apply the mirror modifier to actually get this working. Well, there we have it. Hopefully you have a low poly boat now, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!